Hello, everyone. How are you? I am going to jump right on into this. Okay. Someone is needing to put an end to a situation. Okay. So like someone needs a mediator pertaining to a relationship. Okay. But like there are some concerns about this relationship as well. You guys need a mediator, but getting ready to put an end to this relationship. Okay. I do see distance is on a horizon. A breakup is on a horizon. Okay. I see you being mature about the situation as well. Okay. Someone is ending up in bad health, but having a lot of people around them who will be there to support them. Okay. Oof. Being in a lot of depression, okay, losing your determination, unable to get any rest, okay, unable to do some self-reflecting because of this whole situation that's going on right now. But like the family is no longer happy, but you are going to be completely happy when it boils down to it, okay? <sighs> There's a lot of anxiety going on also, and I do see you. There's a lot of anxiety, okay? This man here is finally doing a lot of thinking now, but worrying a lot, okay? And it look like you, female, you is the one who said, I'm not going to think about this man anymore. You're doing a lot of thinking about this man now because you know this man here has a lot of anxiety and you have a lot of anxiety as well, okay? Because he's going through some problems, all right? And I do see you focusing and thinking about what y'all once had, that you guys was happy at one time, okay? Until all of the chaos and the problems had started, all right? And then it looked like you needed to make a decision. Do I stay or do I go? Okay, but realizing that, hey, it was just too much going on. It was so many secrets here. All right. Realizing you had to really uh, free yourself. Just look like you just got tired of being tied up with this person. Okay, unable to express yourself and say how you really feel. Wasn't taking action. Wasn't able to do anything you really wanted to do. Okay. Also, um, even when it came down to love, it's like you wanted love. You wanted it, okay? But this person really wasn't trying to do it. <laughs> Focus on your dreams. Focus on your freedom, okay? Focus on your happiness, all right? Know that God is protecting you as well, especially while you're going through this separation, also get you a pet okay that will help you a lot also okay but know that a new person is coming into your life um he does miss you he miss your touch he miss your smell he miss your laugh as well okay know that no weapon formed against you shall prosper no weapon formed against you shall prosper all right so work on yourself there's going to come a point to where you will be able to date again as well. All right. You may end up meeting someone on the rope workplace as well. But make sure that you really get to know this person because this person is has like bisexual tendencies and loves to get out and, and hook up. All right. Make sure this person here is also single. Okay. But you got to start believing in yourself and you got to start trusting yourself. You got to start trusting your heart. You got to start trusting your intuition. Okay, this new person here is going to be having... Uh, this new person here is going to be somebody that's very expressive, that loves to communicate, that loves to talk, okay? Now, when it comes down to your ex, your ex is going to want to communicate with you. They are going to be uh, struggling about telling you how they really feel. Okay, because it looks like they are sick now. All right. They're not doing so good when it comes down to their health. Okay. But know that a new love is coming your way. Okay. 
Yeah, make a choice, okay? A new person is coming, a new love is coming, somebody new is coming. You're going to have to make a choice. Do you really want to be in a whole new relationship? Do you really, are you ready to be in a relationship, period, okay? You gotta have to love yourself and work on yourself as well, cause your ex is going to try to come back in and want to make things right, okay? But it just look like all of this gonna be a whole bunch of confusion, okay? Yeah, it just look like that relationship had failed, it ended, okay? It was like a toxic relationship. So you're gonna have to really be honest with yourself and to yourself as well. Okay, about this whole situation. Do you really want to be in a relationship? Okay. Yeah. Or either make a decision to release or let go of this. Make a decision. You got to make a choice. I can't make that choice for you. Okay. I can't make that choice for you. You have to release and let go. And let go of your ex. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wow. So you split your you and your ex split up, but you're gonna end up meeting somebody else new. Okay, it's gonna be um it is gonna be like this. You're gonna end up meet somebody new, but you're gonna end up dating them. This and now that first person that you end up dating, you're gonna have to do a background check on that person, okay? Because that person there has like back sexual tendencies, okay? Um, and they're gonna love to be out there in the street, they're gonna love to play in the street, okay. So you're gonna have to do your and you're gonna have to really do some checks on that person. You're gonna have to pay attention to your intuition as well. Not only with that one, but uh, all the other ones that's coming behind it. Cause it's like when you split break up with that one or stop talking to that one, it's gonna be some more coming your way as well. Okay. But you are going to have to make a choice. Do you really want to be in a relationship? Period. Okay. But you need to work on yourself though. Yeah, you really do. So you're gonna have to make that decision. When it comes down to you in this situation here. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to make a decision when it comes down to that one. Yeah, you're going to have to really learn how to trust yourself, trust your heart, trust your intuition. Okay? Build up your courage, your confidence, and just push through. Okay? Push in, through, up, by, all up in, in faith. You got to believe in yourself and you got to trust yourself and you got to trust the process, okay? Things happen for a reason, okay? Things happen for a reason. Don't force anything to happen. Just allow things to happen naturally, okay? Go with the flow here, okay? There's going to be a new chapter for you, a new beginning, but it's like taking a risk. You are going to have to take that risk, take a leap of faith towards a new chapter, new beginning in your life. You're just going to have to do some work on yourself so you don't know um, the difference between a good man and a man that just want to play in the street, okay? That's about them head games, all right? So focus on your life, focus on you, okay? Start opening your eyes and saying things for what they really is, okay? Love yourself. Regain control of your life. Shake off all of that old baggage. Okay? And start being your true self. Start taking control of your life. Be you. Okay? Know that God loves you. Jesus loves you. And I love you too. Pray. Ask God for um, help. Okay? And to send you someone in your life that's the one for you. Okay?